This is my review of a 2003 Australian Shepherd. Um, I bought this in brand new in 2003 for $612. Um, a couple things of it, it's pretty good. It's got a couple of noises. So you can hear it's kind of like a creaky noise. Um, took it to the vet and nothing's wrong with it. Just, uh, how these things were made <clears throat> this one is made in the US I'm thinking I mean it's the you know, Australian Shepherd but uh, I don't think they're all made in Australia but uh, the major problems I've had with it is if you look close you can kinda see a light leak around the fur um, had it looked at um, and they said that they prefer light leak because if it wasn't light leak it'd be dull and they said something about like Graves disease or something like that so all in all pretty good build quality um, the paws do have a little bit of a rough texture to them um, the eyes tend to droop when they're tired tends to release these weird noises when you pet it and you you pet in the ears and it's usually how you make them you know release the noise but uh yeah it's a 2003 I did an unboxing in uh, 2003 when I first bought it and um pretty pretty intense unboxing video um, very, um, I don't know how to say it, very surprising. When I first, when I first bought it, I didn't know it was going to be this good of a creature. Um, the teeth are extremely good. Um, it does have a little bit of a gum leak right there. Uh, it likes to lick the couch a lot. Um, that is the one drawback, negative con of it. It just licks this couch all day. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, beefing. Um, it likes beefins. Uh, they're like little beef chunks, look like steak. They're like fake steak pieces. Um, that's what I give it when I feel the need. Um, I have to poo it and pee it every probably an hour at the most. Um, they come in a lot of different colors: uh, gray, black, white. Uh, this one is the rear black edition, um, so I would consider it a 64 gig. Um, very holds a lot of songs. Um, it, it talks. Um, the paws again, very very rough, um, kind of like a dog paw in general. Nothing too special. The hair is extremely long, a lot of light leak, but supposedly that's normal on the forms. I've, you know, went over the forms many times looking for possible, you know, to fix this issue. I've contacted PetSmart where I bought them, you know, and I asked them, you know, maybe send me a replacement out or something. But, I mean, it's been pretty good. Um... We... I feed it kibble on a daily... Um, there's a lot of cases you can get for these. I'm getting a camouflage case in the mail from yougostogs.com. And, um, it's going to be a camel case. And, yeah, I mean, just beautiful, all-around good dog. Haven't had any health problems yet, and it's been about seven years, eight years now. And, yeah. Just, uh, just a very good dog. A little bit of white speck there. As well as some gold. And then some white to the tip. The hair is really long. Uh, you got to keep that groomed or else it will knot up. And you'll have some uh, dingus, I call it. Uh, not a pleasant experience at all. Um, but other than that, he's he's been pretty good. Pretty reliable. Haven't had any issues with them. I had to restart them a couple times 
you know, he would brick on me on occasion when I would cut his nails. Um, he would brick, and I would have to restart him. But, I mean, other than that, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. When he looks at you, you can see a glare in his eye. I've tried to get that fixed, too, but, again, they said this is all normal. Um, you know, the noises he makes from the glare, the light bleed on his head, and pretty much all around his body. I mean, I've ne I'm, I haven't found a place where he doesn't bleed in the light when light's directly placed on him, so... I don't know. Um, I'll get back to you guys with any problems, but he's been pretty reliable for the past couple years. No major flaws on him. Um, his nose, when it when it, when it's warm, um, I usually give him some tea, some hot tea, and take a pee pee, and then he goes to the DG which is um, the couch this is where he this is where I dock him every night <clears throat> um, it charges him for the morning when I get up which it's uh, it's about 630 right now in the morning when I get up he's all he's ready to go you know there's there's not one morning where I haven't got up and he was all charged up and ready for the morning so other than that I mean Actually, you know what? I'm not going to lie, guys. I did have to replace one piece on him. Um, a while ago when I bought him one of his pads, uh, which one, I think it was this one, was worn out. And it just, I tried to buy a case for it. It didn't work. Um, I got the Zag Shield. It didn't work. And I had to replace that pad under warranty of course um, and everything else was fine but it, it was pretty pricey it cost it around five bucks so I mean all in all I've spent probably between total maintenance food everything around twelve thousand dollars on him um, health issues he hasn't given me any health issues he has a little lump in his throat um, we took him to the vet about that, and they said it was a uh, a fatty tumor of some kind. Um, completely harmless. wasn't in his tracheal tube or anything. So we shall see what's in store for the Charlie. Possibly a beefin. Maybe a chewy. Maybe a squeaky puppy. I don't know where his puppy is, but whenever I say, get your puppy, he's, he freaks out. He just he gets up and just runs amok on the house. And, yeah. So that's my review of the 2003 Australian Shepherd. You can pick one up at your local PetSmart. Obviously, the 2003s are no longer for sale. You can get a 2012 model. Um, he's going to be a puppy, which kind of creepy. you gotta, you got to watch him. You know, but uh, other than that, that's the review of the 2003 Australian Shepherd. You guys have a wonderful day, and um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go feed him now. Possibly take him on so go pee pee, pee pee, beefin, hungry. Go so go pee pee, find your puppy.